Hello everyone, today we are back with a brand new video which is one of the most requested topics by you that is detailed preparations of NCI. In the previous video, I spoke about uh, post-Russia struggles in which I mentioned that you have to prepare for MCI so don't lose focus. So why should you not lose focus? It is all about this MCI thing, right? Which we hype about. So let's consider that uh, you have already come back from Russia and you need to prepare for MCI. First of all, what are the things you need? You need the respective uh, materials for MCI, which is the notes or the books, which is easily available in Gautam Nagar, Delhi. Uh, and also all the tuition centers like DIMS, AFMG, uh, and etc etc these are also present in this very place now it should be clear in your mind whether you want a tutorial guidance or you want to do your self studies either way it is fine uh, i am totally not biased in this way uh, there, i know many people who have done self study and cleared in first time also many people who have taken tutorial guidance and, and have cleared in first attempt so whatever suits you and uh, decide it already when you are in Russia so that you don't lose time while you come here because the period six months maybe while hearing it's six months but it is very less time for preparing 19 major subjects for MCI. So in Delhi if you are planning to stay in Delhi while preparing for MCI first of all make clear that you want to stay in a PG or you want to take a room. Taking room has pros and cons because you have no facility of food and whatsoever and while preparing for MCI, cooking your own food is a hefty task. So if you take PG, then I kind of think that it is in the better side because you will get your food three times a day and you can only focus on your studies. On the contrary, if you are taking up choosing class, then after 10 hours of class time, you can uh, devote yourself about six hours. So be very clear about this thing, ask your seniors or people who have already given MCI and rethink over and over again which suits you because uh, many people cannot study after 10 hours of class time or else many people can also find that useful because classes basically they are guiding you in the right direction. So decide this and go forward with your MCI studies but uh, guys I will tell you one thing beach mein kabhi mat chhodna like if you have started doing a class beach mein usko chhod mat dena if you have started doing the class continue it because if you have done the class and beach mein aap chhod doge fir there is no point it is absolutely just losing time and wasting time now coming to the point which i have prepared for you like i'll be dividing the subjects and how you can make your routine if you are doing self study uh, so we have 19 subjects and uh, whatever it is when you start preparing for NCI start from the base like if you are not strong with your base there is no point studying the bulky subjects uh, so considering let's start uh, the major subjects mainly are four it is anatomy physiology biochemistry and uh, microbiology so first start studying with that and when you are done through reading one start obviously you are solving mcqs along with it see only theory and only mcq will never help you it is always together you have to study theory and the best part you can go about it is read one uh, part or one chapter of uh, theory and do the mcqs then the burden is also less and with daily thing you are covering both the things which is needed for the examination then after you are done with this basic subjects combination studies like anatomy uh, while revising anatomy, you can do new things of surgery. Uh, in this way, you will not forget anatomy and also you will do surgery which would be easier because surgery, surgical approaches need a lot of anatomical terms and uh, you should be thorough with anatomy while you are studying surgery. Then while physiology, combine it with pathology. And uh, then microbiology, you can combine with the vaccination part which will be coming in PSM. And pharmacology, mainly you can do with biochemistry if you want the depth. Otherwise, you can just simply pair it because both of the things need a lot of mugging up. So you can just continuously, uh, like ha if you have uh, learned a cycle of glycolysis, like continuously repeat it. 
so divide it or else one better way of doing pharmacology is every day devote half an hour or one hour according to the study hours you are devoting your, uh, to yourself uh, then you can remember it easily then coming to the scoring subjects in scoring subjects i will uh, classify subjects like ophthalmology ent forensic radiology and also the short subjects which are like orthopedia and uh, psychiatry and dermatology and anesthesia anesthesia uh, is one subject you can combine with pharmacology as well and uh, major subjects may there are four subjects which is like medicine surgery psm uh, gynecology and obstetrics which i am taking as one subject but you can take as two subjects but gynecology and obstetrics it's a very vast subject but it's yet a very scoring subject because there is not that much variation of questions from gynecology and obstetrics so this is the whole overview of subjects which you have and uh, i will be telling the marks division in the next video but uh, what i want to point out here is this is the basic thing which you have now you have to find out how will you devote equal time to each of the subjects according to the bulk of the subjects and the importance of the subjects and yes uh, one thing you cannot leave any subject if you want to be sure in your mind that you have to crack the examination you cannot leave any subjects whereas certain topics may be less digged into in the exam like the examiners may be not twisting and turning with certain topics so those are the topics you may know a little less i'm not saying you don't know anything about it because you ultimately have to be a doctor so you need to know everything but those are the topics you can know low i mean know a little less about it so that's how uh, you can go with it and uh, after you're clear with all these things and settled you can start your preparation and do it as a because uh, the more time you waste the more less time you have and later on you will be actually finding yourself in a big mess because it is not a very easy thing to cope with 19 subjects all together and to be a positive uh, in a positive mind uh, this is one very important thing because uh, like har dusre din aise insaan mil jayenge jo bolega bhai nahi ho raha but this is not a thing hoga so that is the one thing you have to keep in your mind that definitely you will do it so with this thing start your preparation and go forward with it So thank you guys that's all for today with the beginning of MCI preparation i hope this will be a help to you and in the next video i will be talking about the marks division of the subjects the books needed for the subjects hours and uh, certain tips as to how you can grasp few subjects thank you